Hi, I'm Jesse, and this is my Minecraft clock. I'll just get right to it. Uh, this is my digital clock. Uh, I created based on a few designs from Skippy Six Gaming, CNB Minecraft, and K1, uh, among others. Uh, there are several uh, digital clock designs, and I kind of set out to make a more compact version. Uh, and here it is. It uses quite a few command blocks. Uh, it, I've compacted the um, the cylinders. Just got rid of some of the extra stuff uh, on some of the other builds. Um, this is my timer right here. It's really simple. Uh, circle of uh, redstone repeaters with a comparator that powers them that's turned on. Uh, each one is at one tick and that gives you one flash per second on uh, each corner of redstone. So I've got these command blocks here that uh, place these to torches in an alternator <laughs> alternating pattern to uh, run the seconds cylinder as you can see it just keeps pushing those blocks around in a circle now those golden glass box are encoded with the information required uh, to make the digits turn on on the face of the clock um, <coughs> Each one of those uh, blocks in a row uh, equals one part of every number digit. Uh, this one will go around, and when that waxed copper block comes around, it triggers the next uh, cylinder, which is tens of seconds. Uh, I can set these with these command blocks sets right here with buttons on them. Uh, if it's glass, push glass. If it's waxed copper, push copper. Uh, don't try to set it while the clock is running though, in, the, in this area. And that's it. It's all, uh, it all fits within, a, I think, a, what is it? Three Three to thirty-seven. It's uh, thirty-five by twenty-two block area, and that's it. Uh, I guess. Uh, well, when you start the level, when you start the world, when you spawn, it's right here, and. There are a few buttons here, uh, on, off, uh, you can set the hours and the minutes. Uh, right here is a button that will take you in for a tour. Uh, I, I'm still kind of working on that part of it. I've got the clock working, then I'm going to make it a, a playable world and uh, probably upload it wherever I can. That's it. Do a little fly around just uh, just in case any of you wants to try and replicate it. Uh, starting with the 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 timer. Uh, this Top row, uh, first row of blocks is the, um, well, it's hard to explain. <laughs> the blocks determine where the torches land. This sets a torch. This deletes it. This sets a torch in uh, an alternate spot. And this one deletes it. Um... 
I've used uh, a few of these barrier blocks to kind of hold all this stuff together. Um, it keeps uh, these pistons from pushing out of order and destroying effectively the, uh, the cylinder. I've got that on all of these pistons, uh, piston cylinders, uh, just to keep everything together. Um, the encoded gold and glass blocks activate these sticky pistons uh, with redstone on them to move them back and forth between command blocks that tell uh, these number digit parts to change from blackstone to quartz back to blackstone again. I've uh, found that you can also place redstone on top of barriers and they work just like any other block. Uh, I use the barriers just uh, in case anyone didn't already catch on that they're unmovable. Uh, sorry, immovable. This right here is the tens of hours cylinder. It only really needs two uh, uh, rows of two because there's only two parts to the number digit. Uh, over here off the seconds cylinder, I have these command blocks uh, control the blinking dots. Uh, here's my setup for uh, going from one row of cylinders to the next. You have this command block here that sends the signal for a torch to be placed in this location for a moment. Uh, just hang around and wait and see what that looks like. Shouldn't take long, at uh, less than a minute. There it is. Uh, and we have minutes. Uh, same setup here. The waxed copper block comes around, is charged by the torch, which sets off this redstone here and rotates the other, the next cylinder. Uh, on the second cylinder, uh, you can see that the command blocks are different. Um, that is simply because uh, I didn't want to have so many pistons going in and out once per second. Uh, so instead, I have them fill for quartz block, and then these chain uh, command blocks have a delay of just under a second so that they refill the the digit with blackstone uh, just before it gets filled with or doesn't get filled with quartz again that's it there's other tutorials on how to build these things uh, you can reference those uh, they have all kinds of great ideas for timers personally I think mine is the best uh, let me know what you think in the comments 
and that's it. Uh, one last little thing here. Uh, over here I have uh, accessible only by me uh, when there are other players in the game. This is my control room. Uh, I can view the clock from here. I can reset the face of the clock. I've got this whole setup over here. Uh, that shuts off the clock, resets, refills the face. This is just in case it gets messed up. It does sometimes the, uh, uh, I'll leave the game without turning the clock off and the uh, numbers get messed up. I, I really got to remember not to do that because it, uh, it can misplace a few of the gold and glass blocks that are moving around because the, uh, if you leave the, the game while those blocks are in a state of flux, then they can disappear. So, uh, you gotta remember to turn this thing off when I leave the game. So, there it is. I got a little, uh, little interclock here. Teleports me right into, right into where the power torch goes. Uh, that's when you turn the clock off, all you do is remove that torch. Uh, oh, no, I don't have one in my inventory here. And that's it. That's my take on the Minecraft digital uh, uh, cylinder block clock. Thanks for watching.